On Tuesday night, the Canadians scored nine goals. On Thursday night, look, I don't even know if they got nine shots. It was a pretty boring game, in my opinion. Samuel Montembeau, he's in net for the Canadians, and Simeon Varlamov gets the nod for the Islanders. The puck is dropped, and we are underway. Here we go. Just over eight minutes into the first period, Nick Suzuki's going to find himself all alone. Tries to go to his backhand, but look at Varlamov. <laughs> nope. Nope, not today. He gets it with the fly squatter and breaks my heart. Montreal's first line continues to cause trouble whenever they're on the ice until finally, with just over two minutes remaining in the first period, Jordan Harris is going to blast one in from the point and Simeon doesn't even stand a chance. Look what's in front of him. It's a six foot tree, 230 pound brick shit house. Slavkovsky might not register a point on this goal, but let me tell you something. His DNA was all over it. The kid's a beauty. And speaking of beauties, look at 18 and a half year old Mario Armia coming very close to putting the Habs up by two. Tries to pull off a little bit of bar down action for everybody, but Simeon says no. Not today, Mario. You want to know what's weird? Montreal had five shots during the first period, and I'm pretty sure every single one of them were like grade A scoring chances. But anyway, now we're going to move on to the second period. The New York Islanders begin to crank up the heat. Samuel Montembeau has been absolutely perfect up to this point, but just over five minutes into the second period, Pierre Ingval is going to find some open space. Everybody just kind of lets him go for some reason, lets him get away, and he snipes home his 10th goal of the season. We're all tied up at one. A few minutes later, John Gabriel Pajot is going to line up Brendan Gallagher. They do drop the gloves and have a bit of a spirited bout. I mean, it was kind of like watching two hamsters fight over a Ferris wheel, but you know what? I bet everybody on that Islanders bench appreciated it. Because the last time these two teams met, we had the chicken wing incident. Ooh, yeah, remember that one? Nasty. Second period comes to an end with once again the Islanders out shooting the halves, but this time 14 to 5. It was a complete mismatch. So now we're going to move on to the third period. We're only a couple of minutes in. Slavkovsky's going to take down Matt Martin with the shot, takes down Cal Clutterbuck as well, goes to the front of the net, and pretty much becomes Christopher Columbus. He discovers the puck is already in the net. Everybody's in shock. Bit of a weird situation, but it's actually Cole Caulfield scoring his 25th goal of the season. He's got 25 now. And once again, Slavkovsky does not get a point on this play, which is a damn shame, but I mean, it doesn't happen without him. He starts the entire sequence. Casey Sezikis is going to tie this game up at two for the Islanders with a beauty wrap around there. Montembeau gets really close. Duh, <laughs> but not close enough. And guess what? This game is going into overtime. Patrick Wan, his team could really use a win. And just over a minute in, Carl Palmieri is going to score a ridiculous goal. Look at the angle. Oh my god, just, just a perfectly placed shot to beat Sam Montembeau. Which gives us our final score of 3-2. to two. The final shots on goal were 31-14 to 14 in favor of New York. And if you're wondering what the standings look like right meow, here we go. As you can see, the boys are still in 28th spot in the league. But I am starting to get a little worried. Look at the Calgary Flames. What have they been doing? Trying to pull a fast one on everybody. Get out of here. And one last piece of information before I go. Mike Matheson, the mathematician, picked up his 60th point of the season last night. I mean, it's incredible. And I don't know about you, but I've never seen a player like this before. Sometimes I want to hit him over the head with like a pillowcase full of moose shit and something. Sometimes you just, you gotta love them. Life is really weird like that, but that's gonna do it for today's video. You can let me know your thoughts on this game down in the comment section. Please don't forget to knock some chiclets out of that like button before you leave here. And hey, I'll see you next time.